thinking we're going to put a bar across here, one across here, and one across here, connect those together, probably with bolts so we can avoid welding and turning it into a big project. Get these strapped down, maybe get some wood or something soft underneath the battery so that the uh, ridges on the floor don't break the batteries and we'll be ready to start, uh, start driving again. I found some three quarter inch pine boards. We can slide those underneath the batteries. We'll see. We may have to rethink our frame if we put it up that high. But I definitely want to get those batteries off the uh, off the metal, so I'm going to try that. So after looking at the situation with the rack, I decided that I'm going to build a, a new rack. I have a couple pieces of metal that I'm going to cut up, and I'm going to use the existing rack as a template. And we'll go ahead and lay that out on there, mark the holes, and then create the same end and then put a piece right down the middle for the new batteries to hold the new batteries in. So it'll just basically be an H instead of this frame. And I want to maintain this frame and keep it because we might want to go back to the old batteries and there's no reason to chop it up and use it or try to make something out of it. We'll get started on the layout. So I'm just going to use this to mark the length of it. We'll copy the existing one. And then for our, whole, for our slot locations, that and we'll drill a hole and then cut those out. So I'm going to need two of those but we'll get that cut and saw. Just let that do its thing for a couple minutes and come back to it when it's cut. All right we got that piece. Cut one more. So I want to keep the new piece the same length and then going through the middle with a hole in it for the middle. So I'm just going to kind of Mark that off there. I'm going to put that inside and then weld it on the bottom, grind it off. So I realized that this is not centered. This hole is not centered. So I'm using this to line up to make sure that our bolt that we put in is going to be in the center of this and not necessarily the center of the piece because if I put it in the center, we're going to miss that center bolt. The next thing we want to do is locate these slots. And what we're going to do is drill a hole right here where we made the marks and here, and then we'll use a cutting wheel and just cut it out so that we have a slot. And the reason is that the original design uses a slot and the bolts swing in and out. So if we're not able to swing it out, we're not going to get it in the hole. It won't actually fit into the thing. So we're going to need those slots. So. Let's get started on the drilling. I drilled the holes in it, just using a hand drill, putting some pressure on it on a board. Make sure when you're drilling, you use some lubricant. I just use some spray cleaner, 409, or maybe a mixture of soap and water, and uh, use that to cool down your drill bit, and it'll drill right through like butter. Now we're gonna take it over, and we're gonna try to cut slots. First thing I wanna do is clamp this down to the table. C clamp and that will give us some stability to cut that slot and then using a grinder with a cutting disc I'm just going to cut in there and see if I can't turn that into a slot. I didn't get it perfect. I'll clean that up a little bit with a grinder and we'll get a, a cleaner slot. And then I'll go ahead and do the other three slots. So now that I have the pieces, I've cut those and made the slots. So we have two pieces. They should be pretty close to being even. This piece, which was already cut. And the problem that we saw before was this is not in the center. So we line this up as our template. Use that for our length. And the same thing here. Pretty close. So if we line this up, then we want center. It 
should be able to get it in. That should be about right, so we're going to need a hole right there. We'll go ahead and mark that on the piece so next time we're lined up. And let's figure out where the hole is going to be. Keep it square on the edge of the table. So bad. I'm gonna go back to our frame and I forgot to keep track of which side is where. We will line that up again, the old one, and we should have a lot of flexibility here in our piece because those pieces move and we have the slats on the end. So I'll go ahead and clamp that down and bring a welder out, tack that up and see if it fits in the truck. So I got it clamped up. And to keep it simple, I brought out the Harbor Freight arc welder. All we need to do is tack it together. So there's no point in getting fancy with MIG welders and TIG welders. And I was hoping to see if I can get a couple tacks on here to hold the whole thing together. completely weld it just get a couple tacks on there so we can go ahead and cool that off and then take it up to the truck and see if it actually fits now for the moment of truth let's see how we did it's gonna go this way make sure we don't hit those battery terminals I'm gonna go back this one in here Now I know why they rubber coated the other one, huh? So I think we're gonna put, eventually push the batteries back underneath these and then we'll put a spacer in here. Um, for the moment, we should be able to tighten it down. So I'll take it back, finish welding it together. It lines up with the bolts. We're gonna be able to clamp those down. We got the boards underneath and we'll have the truck on the road here in a little bit. It's always nice to give your project finish here some rust-oleum not that i'm promoting a brand it's a fast dry enamel we'll go ahead and just give it a quick blast of paint It'll help it keep it from rusting not really worried about runs or anything just get enough on there have a little pride in your work and make it look good I'm going to let that dry, flip it around, do the other side, and then go install it on the truck. Okay, so there you have the new frame for the new batteries and the old frame. And we'll get to put the old frames back into the system, and we'll go ahead and bolt this up and get the batteries bolted down. See what we have. So I've got the batteries positioned right, and I decided to put a little foam tape underneath the metal so we're not pushing the metal down directly onto the battery on the ends. Throw some washers on here. I'm going to need to put something to space these apart, but probably just a, a block of wood is going to be fine. They're not going to go anywhere when we get it tightened down. In between the, the wood on the bottom and the foam on there, maybe we might have raised it up a little bit too much, but the foam will crush down. the truck starts because we started it yesterday and that should be 
move that over to make sure it's not touching the switch. Yeah, I think this is gonna work out pretty well. Those batteries are in there super tight and we still get to keep the old battery holders just in case we decide at some point we wanna go back to the other system. So we'll keep those in there. We got a nice, neat setup and uh, we're ready to start going four wheel. And there it is. That's our installation. See the wood on the bottom. You see the old racks in there. We've got plenty of room. We can use that for cargo space or something else. Put some electronics in there. This is fine. This will run the truck and it'll give us more reliability and more cranking power. So excited about being able to test them out.